Last time you left so suddenly that I didn't know what to think. There's so much to do that I don't know where to begin. That's incredible. The rock's generating fog on its own, and the fog gets thicker as I move my hand closer to it. So this rock is like a security system. It must be protecting the island from strangers. Hold on, is this the heart of the island from the Chronicles, the source of the incredible phenomena and legends? Most likely, if so, hmm. we should find a way to win this heart because we won't see much of the island with the rock's security system on. This rock is basically the Guiding Stone's big brother, let's see if our crystal can calm the heart of the island. The fog started to dissipate when we got the crystal out, see that indention in the rock? It's shaped the same as the crystal stand. I guess our small crystal should be placed into that intention, let's put it in and see what happens. The fog's going away. The castle looks exactly like on the scale model. Let's see what kind of artifacts and incredible inventions are waiting for us inside. Hmm, the door's locked. When we came to Castlewood, we found a spare key in a flower pot outside. Maybe we can find one here too. We will. The fog's finally gone. The signal's back and the navigation works fine too. Now our friends can get here safely. I think it's much better for them to take a boat here, but who's going to help us fix the dock? Bill's still afraid of the island. I'm sure he won't say no to Joe. I'll get Bill here in the meantime, try to find the key. <laughs> it's gorgeous here and calm, seemingly. What's that weird glowing rock though? What's wrong with it, Carl? The only thing wrong is I can't find the keys to the castle and that rock is the heart of the island. It generates fog without our crystal. All right, Carl, then you keep looking and I'll fix the dock. And if you don't find the key, no problem, I've got my crowbar. You beat me Bill, I haven't found the key yet. Hey, the dock looks amazing, it's hard to believe it's 4 centuries old. We'll make it look even younger, some mooring posts and gas lamps that don't need electricity will make it good as new. Carl, finally, how are you? Do you need help? I've been calling you all morning but your phone's off, I was really worried. Oh, I'm sorry Amelia, I got carried away looking for the castle key and completely forgot to call you. We're fine, we already landed and got rid of the thick fog that was covering the island, now it's much easier to find us. But there's something strange going on, like, my watch is running backward, we're still trying to open the castle, it looks really old. We'll need a mechanic and a restorer here too, call Hugh, take the boat and come. You have the coordinates, see you at the dock. Now your dock meets every quality and safety standard. How's it going with the key? I asked Isabel to help. We looked everywhere, the stairs, the pavement, the windowsills, still nothing. I have no idea where it could be. What would Armando do? Imagine you're leaving the island and hiding the key but you still want your ancestor to find it, intuitively. The first thing we found was the glowing heart of the island. Let's go take a closer look at it.
There's something on the side of the rock, it's clearly not a crack, I'm pretty sure it's a secret button or something. We didn't see it because of the fog before and then we were busy with the crystal, but that thing does look like a hiding place. Let's open the heart of the island, I'm sure something will happen if we press on that panel, it'd be wonderful if the key was behind it. Hats off to Armando, he managed to protect the key for centuries huh, I didn't know the keychain trinkets were a thing back then. It looks like a time capsule, people usually leave important messages in these, I hope there's a note from my father. I can't open the trinket, it's all rusty, let's open the door of the castle first and take a look around. I'm so excited Joe, we're about to open your new castle, get ready for a new world full of mysteries and adventures. This place is massive and I already see every crack, there's a ton of work, this castle is crying for renovation. He's right Joe. The castle's been abandoned for years, its original look is gone, that we're certainly going to change that. First, let's clean up so we have somewhere to sit and relax. Then let's take the covers off the furniture too, I hope we find some trace of my father. We did a great job, that was the first step towards a clean new house. Unfortunately I didn't find any clues as to where my father could be. Isabel, this castle is huge, and we've only explored a small part of it, we might still find something when we get to the other rooms. I'm sorry, I just can't wait, I need to go and check everywhere, if you don't mind, I'll continue searching. If you guys are staying here, you'd better start fixing this place up or else your castle and your plans will fall apart together. You're right, and the floor is our first priority, let's get rid of the old rug, it's been sitting there collecting dust for years.